Hello everyone, this is Thomas Merrick, and uh, let's play some more Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. It's been uh, quite a little while since I've last played one. Uh, I had a request to do Ghost Town, and uh, I'm in the Peep Designer because I also had somebody request that they be added to a, the current group. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. What we have here is a Ricky Burger. And if you requested it and I've missed you, I've, I've missed you somewhere in the shuffle. Let's go into the editor. And I don't know where I put my die of randomness. It's probably hidden under all of the junk on my desk. <laughs> but uh, what I did instead is I actually pulled up the uh, dice program I've been using in uh, the Let's Mega Mech can thing. So I rolled it up and I actually rolled up one. So it was going to be a young boy. Go ahead and roll a random once likes the wild rides and there he is so that's all good all done all saved let's get back into the scenarios uh, I'm gonna jump in here to the uh, volume real quick because the music is sounding really loud to me for some reason let's go ahead and just turn that down just a tad into play now something I'm actually uh, I've actually been thinking I wanted to just to do one of these anyway because there's actually some interesting news uh, regarding the roller coaster tycoon series is they're coming out with a roller coaster tycoon world and uh, I don't know off too many details yet uh, I do know it's supposed to kind of be a possibly like a cooperative type thing the way the new sim city is where you have your own park and somebody else have their own park and they kind of interact they don't directly interact but and then you kind of have an overall, you know, quote unquote, region score. So, as we get more details, I'll share them with you. And odds are, I probably will grab it and we will do some Let's Plays on it. But until then, let's go ahead and go into Ghost Town. Like a 50s horror B movie, you've been summoned to bring back the dead. To breathe new life into this dusty old ghost town. Conjure up a park that caters to the less well-off. And use the skeletons of the old town to fund your fiendish plans fiendish plans. I'm a good guy. Right. Go ahead and uh, pause recording while I get to load it up and I'll meet you on the other side. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Let's see here. We'll take a look at our park here in just a sec. Let's go ahead and look at our goals. Uh, the first goal is to get 200 uh, guests in the park uh, and in a one roller coaster with a minimum excitement value of four. That doesn't sound too hard to me. We'll probably get this done in this first video. Uh, you know, heaven willing, and depending on, of course, if I try to design my own roller coaster, it might uh, not, but uh, entrepreneur level, we need to get a repair loan, and we need to have uh, two roller coasters and minimum excitement of five, so we might just go ahead and try to make our first roller coaster five to help with that, and at the tycoon level, we need 500 and a one roller coaster that has at least 58 feet. This does not seem hard at all to me, honestly, so let's take a quick gander at our park and re-familiarize myself with the way this camera works. <laughs> All right, We've got two entrances. It kind of looks like a little bit of a cemetery gate, which is fitting. I'm not sure what our hours of operation are. We, I think we can look that up. I don't look, oh, they got an entrance over here too. Interesting. I don't think I've had a park that has two entrances like this before, but all the better. Got our park details. Can we set it interest fee? Doesn't look like it. As you know, I like doing the interest fees. Let's see, Let's see, we don't own this little golf here, so we have all of this land. We can buy all this. Okay, how about leasing right? We can look. We can lease over the golf. Okay. I think. Th yeah, that's interesting. We could maybe have a roller coaster leased over over it like that. All kinds of opportunities. Let's look at our financial situation. We have a five thousand dollar loan and we have fifteen thousand on hand. So that ain't bad. Let's take a look at our staving. Actually let's look at our I don't think we have any kind of anything. So yeah, there's that. Staving we have Elmer and Jeffrey. I don't know what they are. Oh, these are guests. How about staff? There we are. 
a park inspector. So, well, first thing first, I did notice we have some litter. Let's get rid of the litter first. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to set these up in the zones. Uh, that way, I can kind of keep certain areas. They don't all bunch up in one area, you know. So, what's it? is this it? Yeah, the patrol area. Ooh, look at this. Let's have him all the way up to there. We grab another one. And you, we can have a little bit of overlap here. There we go. And one more for good measure. Just keep things nice and tidy. Just like I never do. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Let's go ahead and grab our handyman. We'll grab ourselves a Securitas, a security person. He needs the right colors. Come on. There we go. And I will call him Bob. Because that's my boss's name. <laughs> Oop, not Bib. Bob. Bob, 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 bob. And do we want a theme? What do we have? We have the Jack Pumpkin Head. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab him. We change his colors. Can't really see when he's like sitting like that. Uh, black and purple, that works. I think that's good for our staff. Now let's actually dive into... I like these buildings. It's, I, I hate tearing down pre-existing buildings because they're hard to... They're kind of hard to build up. They're cool when you take the time to do it, but... You know... Heck with that. Uh, I do want to get at least one ride in here, though, before I start the park. That way we have something to show for our... Here we go, the gallows swing. We're going to keep, to keep with the theme, keep with the ghost theme. Where do I want to put this? I think over here would be all right. Let's see, Z rotates, right? Yeah, there we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see, I don't think we can go... Well, yeah, I think we can, actually. So let's go with the entrance on that side and the exit over here. And what I can do, I think... Let's see, which of these? Uh, let's just go with the dirt track. should be able to there we go like that and uh, what I had to do, I had to t t kill that bush. If you didn't, it didn't see what I was doing. Uh, about some spooky pathing. I don't think it's going to matter too much though on this. And once again, we got another bush in the way. You know, I think, yeah, I'm going to have to do it like this. There we go. Or not? Oh, okay. Just be gone, and we're done. Let's uh, do a quick test. Let's go ahead and start the park. Get people starting to head in, and get our people start cleaning. I want to know how late the park goes to. I guess we'll find out. Is that music I have playing, or is that just what this thing's doing? That's just what it's doing. Uh, let's see, our excitement rating is two, two. So I think one bug probably works for now. New, new, ooh, that, that's right. We needed to reset our research. Uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to do pools this ride this uh, time around. Yeah, 
And yeah, no water rides. I probably won't do any gentle rides, but I'll, go, I'll leave everything else the way it is. And I'll, I'm going to turn off this other rides and attractions. Okay. Probably should get some of the amenities up and running too. Now we have two entrances, so I'm kind of thinking uh, two information stands, like close to the front. I'm sure the prices are fine, whatever it is. Do another one over here. I think a couple of restrooms would be in order. Actually, I think uh, maybe three restrooms. Two on each side, then one somewhere in the middle. As usual, I'll leave those free. More toilets. People's got to pee. What else we got? What else we got? Oh yeah, I didn't wanted another toilet in the middle. Right there. Okay. I think a first aid station would probably be a uh, wise investment as well. Just in case. I think that's everything I wanted to deal with for now. I mean, I can put on an ATM, but uh, we don't have anything for people to spend money on, so... Some novelty t-shirts. Kind of kind of keep this as like a, a midway, a fairground where you keep all your shops and so forth. What kind of shirts are these anyway? Just t-shirts? Alright, whatever. Two dollar t-shirt? No. Who ever heard of a two dollar t-shirt? More money. Show me the money. Five bucks. That's still way too cheap, where I'm concerned. Of course, how old is this game? I mean, I'm not figuring. I'm not factoring in inflation here. Let's see. We've not made any progress at all towards our roller coaster. <laughs> you know what I think I'm gonna do for the first roller coaster? I'm just gonna have a generic one for the second one. I'm gonna specially order it. So we need at least two roller coasters. Let's go and just build a roller coaster. Let's get it done, over with, and. Then we can just kind of muck around getting some other stuff done. I, oh, I love I love corkscrew roller coasters. Uh, don't really have too many designs. What's a tilt coaster? Let's get a let's take a look at the tilt coaster. <sighs> Looks rather large, actually. How much? Ten thousand? Hmm, about all our money. It does give us the speed and excitement rating we need for the later challenges. Oh, good. We do get a night. Spooky parks are nice at night because you get all these cool lighting on the uh, rides. Thing is, I don't think we're making a profit right now. Huh. Let's see. Safari tours. Yeah. Let's go back into our roller coasters. I do like the idea of that. that. That does look nice. We could technically afford it, but I don't know that I want to spend all my money right now. Let's look at these different. Uh, too expensive, too expensive. This one's technically available. Has an excitement rating. Does not have the speed we necessarily need. It is cheap, though. And it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Oh, we got shooting star themed, corkscrew, shuttle. Let's do the shooting star theme one. Show me what we got. Can we flip this around a little bit? Where's the, the entrance is here. Okay. I'm going to flip it on this way. Trying to see the entrances. Yeah, I think that'll work. In 
fact, let's let's nestle it in back here. Kind of goes over the building that way. Cost us eight thousand six hundred to place it. Let's do it. Okay, the entrance is over here. I kind of want to change that around. I think I will. We need, to, we need to change the way of the style anyway. While that's doing, let's go ahead and just do some testing. I'll probably do some color, coloration difference too. Can I get two trains going? Nah, let's just leave it with one train. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to remember where all the... Oh, we need, do they need uh, music of some sort. I think I just have to have it going to... I think I have to actually raise the ride deck to be on for it to play the music. I want the exit here, but I want it to have a... A spooky theme. So we're going to have the entrance and exit. Let's get them actually attached to something here. Now I definitely need to change the colorations here. <sighs> Problem of things being too cheap. Where's my rotate button? There it is. Well, dude, you're in the way. <laughs> I will sell you for now and bring you back. From the dead. <laughs> I need to find the attractions while I'm thinking about it. Was it that one? I think so. Let's change the color because the color is really bugging me. I get a black with like a maybe a yellow. What's this? Oh, it's tunnel lights. Yeah, that ain't gonna help. Let's make this black. Let's make this black. Let's make it all black. Give uh, the lights, if there are any, kind of a yellow look. And the tracks. Oh, here we go. Colorful light. Let's make them. Let's just make them white. That way there's stars. Then we got a shooting star here. So the shooting star should be... You know, most shooting stars I've ever seen are green. Let's go ahead and make this a green one. Oh, that's the inside. What want the inside to be? I want this color to be green. And then the back of it to be... Black. And hopefully that'll look a lot cooler at night. This side, we need. No, not Sandy. Um, dirt. I don't like the way that's tilting already. I want 
have to go straight. Why will you not go straight? Looks like we're going to do a little landscaping. Place the tree shortly. That was a cool tree. Is that connected? Yes, it is. Excellent. Let's go ahead and start this puppy. Can't really hear the music. Yeah, probably because I turned it down just a second ago. Where are my options? It's just loud on the menu, is the problem. Or well, when I really zoom in. I gotta say, the, the, the camera, the way the camera rotates when you're going around, that just really, really throws me off. I think I can even change this way this works. just kind of comes out and grabs you as you're leaving. They need places to eat and drink. What do we got? We got nothing. We got chicken. Because nothing is scarier than chicken. That spooky shakes. Ooh. Just need a few more people. I think we're about done. Uh, we got we got the co roller coaster, and we just need 200 more people. Let's go ahead and do an ad campaign. First, I want to check on this. Are we making any money at all? Not really. Now, he did say the information stations are too cheap. Is this, is this making any money? Did I just really mess this up? Yeah, nobody's nobody's buying this stuff. Let's go ahead and drop this price down to four, I guess. Well, three fifty. I just that just I don't know what it is about this game and the prices. You know, either the prices seem way too high or way too low. Too much to me, you know. I guess the game has its own internal logic. Now these are too cheap, he says. Let's go ahead and throw this up to like that. I usually sell maps for fifty cents. Synchronize stalls, please. You know what? I'm gonna set this up to 250 for adult umbrellas and two dollars for kids umbrellas. That seems fair. I mean, you're not paying an entrance fee to get in here, you know. So everything. Oh, you know what we need is uh, puke buckets <laughs> and benches. Why? What? Why would somebody get sick right there? Come on, work with me, people. That's a spooky binge. Really. Uh, I, I guess it's kind of weird. But. I don't normally have wide paths like this, too. I'm kind of wondering if I should start. I think it does cause this issue where they kind of wander around like that, but... Yeah. 
Got some seating on the bridge. I'm assuming we have this, at least, or something. We must have. Uh, so we want to have some here at the exits. Ta-da! <laughs>